This is a CBS 4 News update. I'm Jim Barry. Here's the news. Former Boston Red Sox star David Ortiz is in the hospital after being shot in the back in the Dominican Republic. His father says Ortiz was shot inside of a club. He was taken to the hospital and underwent six hours of surgery. The shooter is in custody. American Airlines is canceling 115 flights a day through the end of the summer. The airline says the additional cancellations come after Boeing 737 MAX planes remain grounded. The fleet was grounded back in March after two deadly crashes. American had previously canceled flights through August 19th, but is now extending that date till September 3rd. Passengers can rebook flights at no cost or get a full refund. And Burger King is apologizing after an employee was caught on video using a floor mop to clean the tops of tables in a St. John's County store. The video shows an employee scrubbing a table with a mop and then back down to the floor. The fast food chain released a statement condemning the employee's actions and calling the incident unacceptable. Now, CBS4 weather. Uh -oh. Craig Setzer in CBS4 weather control, chief meteorologist here, and our weather pattern still looking kind of stormy because there's a lot of tropical moisture around. Now, the least stormy two days this week will likely be Tuesday and Wednesday when the tropical moisture thins out, but it comes back in in earnest Thursday and Friday and looks like it sticks around for the weekend, but our wind changes for the weekend, so maybe uh, not as stormy of a weekend next weekend. In fact, our forecast looks like this. Temperatures in the low 90s for your Tuesday and Wednesday. Hot sunshine, afternoon storms rolling through. Thursday and Friday, passing storms, some heavy downpours. The weekend right now, mostly morning storms and afternoon sunshine, but we can't rule out a chance of a storm or a shower just about any time during the weekend, Jim. Craig, thanks so much. That's our news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS for News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.